What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing some testing with Genbull, Genbull Metal Stone Face Light 90 EWD. If you didn't see my latest videos, I posted some tournament footage. Um, I managed to win the Metal Fight Standard and the Metal Fight Limited. And in Standard, this was my ace, I'd say. Um, I got the most wins with it. So yeah, let's get started. So the first combo is going to be Bagueros, Bagueros. GB145 rubber flat. I'll clean this off a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be doing two variations. One on GB145 and then one on 100. So basically, I did... Uh, this is one of the combos that Cake used that was able to beat this combo. Uh, it was in deck, so he did switch the 145 track. He was using TR145 though. TR145, sorry. Um... But since he knew kind of what I was using, what I was winning with, he switched to 100. And this uh, got hit, so let's turn and wipe. So I'll do a few battles with each one. I pray that my attack is, uh, my attack launches are good enough. No good. Yeah, 145 height is kind of weird. Um, sometimes it can destabilize mine. You get it to scrape and then go out. <clears throat> but otherwise, mine seems to be able to tank the hits pretty well. Do a couple more with these. I'm gonna try to aim my launch. As you can see, when it hits, it hits like a truck. Right. Now that I'm in my launch, that's actually launching tech. I might have to make a video about that. Oh, did not get it this time. And believe it or not, it does work in real matches. We get Cake uses it all the time. It's freaking annoying. It's really cool, though. So I'm not known for being good with attack types, so if that hinders the results of this, I apologize. <clears throat> right, let's do, do one more. Ooh, that was a really good hit. Let's do one more. Now I'm Consistent, okay. It's coming loose. Maybe I don't even have to test it on one hundred. If you go with attack, I'm sure you can get the thing in your head every single time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not even going to test it on 100 because <clears throat> it's just getting KO'd, which is what happened in uh, deck matches. I won one round because I got the wall saved. But as you can see, Bagueros, Bagueros just kind of destroys it. All right, the next battle will be Wyvang Dragoon. I'm only going to do a few of these because they tie a lot. I'm using an aggressive RDF too. I didn't launch the hardest on Wyvern Dragoon. And it's pretty good at spin equalizing. Unless it doesn't get hit, okay. 
It barely got hit. That's I've never actually seen that before. Oh. Try to put it on like a right. See if you can get Genbol Genbol to stay in the stadium. It usually wins. Nice, nice hit. Of course, it's wiving. Like, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> Luckily, I surprisingly didn't face this combo. <clears throat> I think everybody was a little shaky to use attack types. Um, uh, like in deck, they were used more. But JA did use them, but I don't think he was in the... He was in the same block as me, actually. <clears throat> but he used wing against me, which was scary because wing hits pretty hard. It's pretty good for anti-attack. And Genbo is known to have some recoil. Let's see if a Y Bank can actually spin equalize. This is my super beat up stadium. I refuse to use my new ones. <clears throat> I even, uh, my friend asked me why I didn't bring all my good ones. And it's, this one actually got a crack on the play surface that I had to tape up. <sighs> a tie. That's why I think that Wyvang and Yuri is such a good combo, or such a amazing combo. Like, a lot of people praise Zoro Balro, I've never understood it. Wyvang Dragoon just seems good. There was actually a lot of anti, anti Wyvang Dragoon combos, I think KQ Zorago Dragoon on E230 RDF. And then I know um, Razor Blade used Revive Dragoon, uh, SA 165, or uh, EWD. So Wyvang Dragoon does seem to be able to KO. Maybe I will use actually use Wyvang Dragoon next time. I was just having such good <clears throat> luck with Genbull Genbull that I just decided not to switch off of it like ever. Like. Yeah. Tell you what, guys, why Vang hits so hard? All right, that's what we need. Oh, never mind. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on, I'm going to do. Killer Kin or Revisor Killer Kin E230 Metal Ball. This should be a win. E230, this does not do very good against E230. And you'll see why here in a minute. I know Shin Dog had different results, but most of the people that I've talked to who have balanced E230 combos, um, they always beat Genbol Genbol, which Magic Horse did beat me with Genbol Genbol E230 Metal Ball. I'll do one more of those battles, and then I'm moving on. I might have launched Genbo Genbo harder, but...
Oh, man. <clears throat> After playing in standard, I realized why a lot of people think it's toxic. So many LED matches. But I'm part of the problem using a combo like this. I can't complain. Ooh, I could win. E230 is losing stamina. Yeah. All right, the next combo I'm going to try is I have to throw it in there. So it's a top chair combo, metal stone face light, Balro Balro, uh, BD145 metal flab. I'm gonna try KO in, of course, first. <laughs> Trying to speed run this so you guys you don't get too bored. It's kind of at one of those really awkward heights. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to attempt it one more time. It doesn't seem like borrow on the tight is it very hard. So I'm just gonna try one stall and I'll call it good on that. Wow, uh, Baro actually has pretty good stamina. All right, so that was very boring. And Killer Kin Dragoon, very similar setups, uh, both on 90 EWD. I used uh, Killer Kin Dragoon once. It paid off. My opponent was using uh, Duo on Bearing Drive, and I was able to win because he didn't have a very good bearing. Uh, I guess it has like a 6 minute and 10 second solo spin time, but it's uh, LAB is bad. So I was able to beat that. I, I thought he was going to go with that. He had been using E230 and it wasn't. He was getting pretty bad matchups, so. My guess paid off. <coughs> the uh, newer first generation kids would say this EWD on the Dragoon with the red face bolt has not been awakened yet. It's still pretty fresh. That's why it's making that noise and it's a little less balanced. Because this one used to make that noise and now it does one. Up, Rocky. This is gonna be close. Uh, that almost looked like Dragoon. 
but I think a judge probably would have called it a tie. I don't know if Rick would actually stop first and start rolling. I don't think you'll see Coach and Dragoon as much. I, th I know a lot of the Canadians have used uh, Genbo Dragoon. I still think Killerkin has better specialization. Uh, <clears throat> so that's what I use. I balance tune this Genbo Genbo. Uh, I did not balance tune the Killerkin Dragoon. Which, I mean, it usually comes down to LAD with that combo, so. <clears throat> I feel like in this kind of matchup, it's whoever has the better EWD, honestly. Because they seem so close. I'm gonna watch this like my life's on the line. Oh, Genbo one, right? Did you see Genbo one? I think so too. Okay, I'm gonna do one more just to settle it. Dragoon combos on EW or uh, on EWD on lower track better than I do on SA165. I'll have to see how it goes up against E230 since uh, Genbo Genbo itself doesn't do good against E230. It was either a Ty or Dragoon won the first one, then Genbo won the second one. Alright. Gen- or Dragoon won that one. I'm just gonna say they're like 50-50. I- I can't do another one. Alright, the last battles I'm going to do are, uh, another boring one. I'll try to fast forward these ones. Genbo Genbo versus Duo and BD. by the way. Uh, Sounds like a whip when I launch. <clears throat> Dang, I don't know why I didn't use Pyvang Dragoon BD-145 RDF more. It's, it's really because with my matchup, Skenbull was just doing so much work, I didn't feel like switching anything up. round one. I'll 
probably only do two of these battles. <clears throat> I hope Denbo just wins again because. Okay, I guess I have to do one more as a tiebreaker. <clears throat> Dual one that one. And I think Duo just lost. They kind of lost their ball. Oh, I think. I don't know who has it. Okay, yep. So, Gamble Gamble wins. That's. Yeah, I guess it's if you can control your bearing drive. This one's generally pretty good. It, it, uh. I don't know. I feel like it might just be bad against Gamble. Yeah, you can see that the LED is pretty decent on it. Um. But yeah, looks like, uh, Gamble Gamble might have the edge in this this one so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe see you guys